Hello, my wonderful Aquarians. Okay, you guys. So, I've been getting a lot of messages for you before I did this reading. And the reason you're getting this reading, a bonus, is because of your showing me kindness and love and presence with your likes. It's mandatory in, a, in this world. If you enjoy something enough to like it, you want it to stay. So basically, that's where we're at on YouTube right now. But I love you, and I have some amazing messages for you. Um, one question that came on my mind was, one thing was, they want to say to you in the spirit, why so serious? That's the first message I want to say for you. So my, my beautiful Aquarians, this is Robin, and I'm here to do something special for you. As a matter of fact, Spirit said, this is Aquarian's energy. Bring it in. So I brought all my, I brought a, la, um, a gladiola to hopefully bring in joy into this reading. And since you represent the crown chakra, uh, I'm going to give you some energy, man. Um, I've been doing the Reiki thing. Hello. Here's my sacred mist. Let's anoint the space so we can read for Aquarius. What are the messages for Aquarius? Before I start, I'm going to hit the crown chakra bowl for you guys. Take a deep breath. Release it slowly out of your mouth. Again. That's pretty cool. I did that instead of the um, solar plexus this time because it's you guys. All right? We're going to take a look at your life and your love, okay? We'll see if career shows up. We'll see what shows up for you, my dears. We're using the I Love My Zero Marchetti cards more than ever. And then I'm using Astrology Answers Tarot deck for you guys. Okay? So, Romance Angels, of course. Let's see what we have coming up for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers are welcome, but I don't know why. Because this is specifically a, a message to Aquarians that need encouragement and to know that they're being seen and heard. I wish this tablecloth would stop this. It's sitting on top of black velvet, so it's bound to jiggle like that. But isn't it gorgeous? I just freaking love these colors. Yeah, here we go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message for them for right now? It's a bonus love reading. We're really going to do a Celtic cross, but we're looking at love as well, all right? Whew. Okay, if I have the time, I'll do a rundown with all the signs for you. So I'm going to put these aside for just one minute. And I'm going to take a look at what's going on in the energy field. What are the intentions of the people you're dealing with? I love these cards. Oh my gosh. They're so cool. Somebody's putting an end to something. They're changing something. They're transforming something. They're going through a death process. They're dealing with a Scorpio. There are something, something about this, though, brings forth rebirth. Okay. This is what I have. Let's see. What else do you want to say to Aquarius? And uh, there have been things you didn't know. There are things you do know, but you can't talk about them. Maybe you're just still trying to decide how to. Um, this is kind of like being up in your head in your dream space, but that's because you need to be Aquarius. Okay? Okay, good. Let's see what else is showing up for Aquarius. This Bonus reading, please. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, love. I have to tell you, I've been in deep meditation and feeling what you're going through. And some of you are just holding back. You're like, Ee, you're not good enough. Or ta-ta, right? See? End of a chapter. You are closing a chapter. Two and six is eight. This is closing a chapter. Whoa. And you thought about it for some time. The little girl's on a tree branch looking at the moon. 
And she's pretty sparkly, and she keeps things sparkly. She knows what she wants. She don't want this. Wow. Hmm. Aquarians, what's up? Let me see if there's an underlying message to this, and then we'll pull out the tarot, okay? I just want to see. I'm just being guided, okay, guys? Can you see the pi pictures very well? I know I have a lighting issue. I don't know. Trust me on this one, okay? Here we go. Tell me what's going on. This underlying issue with Aquarius here. Ooh, two popped out. We'll take those. Cutting something out permanently. Cutting it out permanently and doing it with your words. <laughs> Done. Wow. The moon is the place where you go to dwell and meditate. It's the place within. Here's the synchronicity here. Three and two is five, the turning point, the objective. Four and one is five, again, the turning point and objective. Different approaches, though. This is looking to the moon and stars, looking up, and this is looking down and drawing from the well within you to empower yourself to make, to get that sunrise to pop up, to have enough uh, within you to find what makes you feel nourished and healthy. What else, please? The, the book that has closed. Wow. They're really talking to you guys. Oh, my gosh. They want you to know you're not insane. This is why you close the book. Because you have better dreams. And I want to show you something else. Two and six is eight. Eight. So this is your karmic shift. You have done it. You are doing it. You're done. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. This is so fucking cool. So let me, at this point, I'm going to um, pull a conscious spirit card for you and see what they say. Conscious spirit, what does Aquarius need to know about this? Then we're going to look at the whole scenario in love, too. Holy Toledo. This makes me want to do a you versus them rating. It's something going down. I don't know what it is. Aquarius in general. The message for you has come up as air elemental. Of course it is. And guess what? You've dealt with a lot of eight, five, and eight. These are hard energies. Tough decisions. This is tough energy. This is death and rebirth right here. You came up, and when you're past eight, and you get past this and fly through this, you're going to be at nine. And nine is the number of success. Nine is the number of fulfillment, abundance, and ten is manifestation. So keep going what you're doing, air elemental 18. You might look that number up too. I embrace the element of air, and I'm open to all knowledge and wisdom. You have opened yourself up now. You're in a very highly sacred space, I get. Therefore, I'm going to bring a sacred destin destiny card for you, my beloveds. Oh, I'm enjoying reading for you today. Took me a little bit, but I have to take care of my business, and I'm a busy woman. But I also am a social person. I make sure that I visit with friends, get out of my space. And it takes time and energy to keep up with a home and a kitten cat who's quiet right now. I'm surprised. She's usually running around howling. We're looking at the sacred destiny of my Aquarius. Please bring this forward, please. They want you to have your freedom. Freedom. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Wow, I love you, spirit. You're just wonderful. My beautiful Aquarians. Here we are. That is, um, I'm sorry. What did I do with the book? It's right here, Freedom. I think you need it. And let's find out more for you, okay? They told me to pull out my, my healing cards. And I've got more cards coming, so my readings will get better. Um, here's your message, Aquarius. Express yourself without hesitation and break free and let your spirit fly. Make choices that increase your freedom. Don't be tied down. Laugh and dance and explore and go beyond predictable behavior. 
be daring, cast aside restrictions. Find your wings. As you do, you'll help others find theirs. Wow, that's nice. You're not here to be ordinary or live a mundane life. You are here to stop limit, to live beyond limitations and self-imposed boundaries. Do not be trapped by convention or the need to please others. Choose life on your terms. Don't accept rules that don't feel right. You can be immensely free and yet still be a part of a loving, supportive community. Oh, snap. They're good to you. All right. We're going to leave it at that and go into love. Mm, that was great. Thank you. Thank you, guides. You're really, really great to us. Put my Hampson necklace on that. All right. I'm going to pull these off and do your Celtic cross and see where love lies in this, okay? Because I want to do that because a regular love reading is... With that kind of energy, no. All right? I need to look at everything. So, one more shift. Thank you, guides. Take me in. Take me in. Okay. All right. Here we go, honeys. Here's your messages. So, you're showing up. Oh, bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands is in reverse. Some of you have added the outs with an air, a, a fire sign. And this person has completely pulled back their energy. Or you have decided not to be warm to someone. So at this time, you're little, literally protecting your energy. Man, this tablecloth. Okay? So you're showing up, actually, as someone not working on a relationship at this time. The Eight of Coins is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, getting down to it, focusing on one particular relationship. Uh, when you have many other choices, you've got a history of relationships, maybe. This is a number eight. Again, that coincides with your original reading. What, but it's in reverse, so that coincides, to me, with your position, correct? What's crossing you is your joy. Absolutely moving towards that joy, that wish fulfillment. Now, this is a motive. It is uh, a very caring energy. It does tell me... Uh, that many of you have many friends, and you should be with your friends, especially those that are loyal to you, okay? If they're not loyal, well, just be friendly. It's a very a good energy to draw positive uh, outcomes to yourself, right? You've, you have dealt with putting up for, for yourself, standing up for yourself, being strong, being principled, putting down boundaries, setting rules, changing things in your life. You've dealt with this. Maybe you've stood up to an, a fire sign at one point and they had, you had to protect your ground. Recently, you have been dealing with a lover. Uh, this could be a Gemini. But this is a lover of any kind. Or maybe it's just uh, somebody you didn't want anything serious with, maybe. Your higher mind is that of clarity now. You have the Ace of Swords. You don't need anybody to tell you what's right for you at this moment. And you have the victory of knowledge. And it is coming from God. Okay, so whatever you say, that's what I'm getting. In the future, you will see yourself not being connected so much to someone. We have a um, maybe a sort of a divine energy here. The feminine here has turned her back. She's not giving her sexual luscious or power to anybody else. And this king of coins is not being generous. He's returned his back. He could be a committed energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They've turned their back. You don't, you're not doing so good financially. i got to draw more cards. But people see you as, here's 7-7, seven, seven. look at you. Here you are, Aquarius. You're like, okay, i got this happening. I've done this seven times. You're tilling the ground you're working with. That's what people see. They see you tilling with what you have, working it, protecting it, making it grow, okay? And um, your environment is that of coming out of the cold by hard work, by using common sense, and by moving away from people that don't serve you. Your worry is that the sun won't come, that you will not get your wish. You're worried that you will not heal, that something will not heal. That's Leo energy. And your outcome shows as you have being battle-torn. This is going to take a toll on you because you gave so much to it. And this is nine, when you struggled enough. Seven, you took this on. 
you got clarity, you turned your back on somebody or they turned their back on you, you started working with what you had, you started coming out of the cold, it's tiring, you have to keep going, this is energy, you keep going, you need energy, you need to replenish yourself. So real quick, let me get a clarity on this. What cards am I using, Spirit? Girl got a bunch of cards. Oh, okay, lights here, baby. I call these my lights here, babies. All right, now we're going to look at romance, too. So let's consider that. Make sure I've got them all out of here. All right, here we go, darlings. Let's find out about this. One. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Bonus reading for love. You're here to encourage them, Spirit. I send you through Reiki energy to everyone who receives this message, relates to it, understands, and respects it. Yes, I do. You shall be healed. You will be powerful. You are powerful. You're brilliant. And you just look at things from a bigger perspective, and it's like you put a lot of burdens on yourself because of that. Let's talk about, see, so you have lovers here. So let's see what this is. All right, first of all, I want to see what this lover is about. Who is this lover for, for Aquarius? Predominant energy of this lover for, for Aquarians, please. Nine of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces turn their back. They were not your wish fulfillment. You wanted them to be, but they aren't. Why are they in reverse? Aquarius had trouble with the water sign. Queen of Wands got in the way. Or there was a choice. Queen of Wands. Aries Leo, Sag Aries Leo Sagittarius. Hot to trot. Ready for you. Wanted you. Or wanted them. They went. Oh, that bitch went with a fire sign. Uh-oh. Tell me why. Tell me between the lovers and the higher mind of the Ace of Swords. The star, it's you. You stepped up. Look, you stepped off this. Okay, you stepped right off of this, and you took back your juju. You said, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm beautiful. I'm absolutely the most beautiful star in the sky. You will not diminish my light, no matter who you are. And guess what? I'm going to, I'm going to be logical. I'm intelligent. I'm brilliant. I'm beautiful. And I'm psychic. So let me have it. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. That's four of wands. That was a house. That was a mate. That was a spouse, perhaps. Um, yeah, that represents home to me. And um, yes, that it does. And marriage. Four of Pentacles is also here. So um, someone withdrew their energy. He's withdrawing your energy. Possibly you or them who is in spirit. Uh, it's them. They're withdrawing their energy from you. Why? Eight of Swords. Um, they're up in their head about what? Nine of Wands about you. Why? But you're not Wands. This is just your outcome. You know what? Whoever you're dealing with, a husband or something, Five of Cups, they're in pain. Their pain is so bad, they don't know what the fuck to do. Whoever you're dealing with, whoever you are married to or however this is, their pain is so bad they can't even talk about it. They're still suffering. Tell me what the outcome is for that king of coins. Just that one. The outcome is being left out in the cold and you saying what to them about it. Let me get the answer to that, please. You say to them, don't care. I'm out of here. Queen of Swords, I'm not talking to you. You didn't deserve me. What you did was unthinkable. I'm going to continue with what I have going on. Why is the environment out in the cold? Who's out in the cold? Eight of Cups, you left them out. Um, you left the water sign out. And the sun is in, re in reverse for them. So they're not they're not doing as good as you, you are right now. Tell me why the sun is in reverse. Because you brought about a change. You're bringing about a change. You're going through a portal right now that is incredibly difficult. But you're absolutely brilliant. I, I, I want you to know you're absolutely brilliant. You've been down this damn path before, Aquarius. In relationships, life, love, restoring things, building things back up, watching what you've done, going back into your star space, star seed energy, drawing from that star seed energy the kind of love that you want. 
Stop working on what doesn't serve you and worrying about it. I'd like to know why the sun is in reverse. Uh, as far as their concerns are, um, why? That is because of the lovers. So there is... Um, you're very... See, your problem is you might be afraid you won't be able to let go. Or you may have a choice of lovers coming. Six of Swords is in reverse. You don't have peace of mind. You need to get your peace of mind. That's probably mental burden. Ten of Cups is in reverse. You're not feeling the fulfillment. You're worried you're not going to get shit. What, I'm going to find out what you're going to get because this doesn't make sense to me. Um, King of Cups is in reverse. So some of you are really, really distressed over a water sign that cheated on you. and Or didn't give you any attention. Or pulled back their energy and you found out about a fire sign that was in the midst or a water sign. Either or. You brought an end to this shit. You're going through this shit. It's the world. You're loosening bound, bonds and contracts. You're, you're ending contracts spiritually. You're like, this is it. I'm going another way. Thank you. I have the power. Guess what? Now I'm going to be the fool. But the fool is always afraid. Let me just say that. He doesn't know what he's doing. The fool has to be taught by the magician. And then he has to be sent to the sacred, high, divine feminine. And Nada, Ishtar, high priestess. She gets him ready for authority, the emperor. And the emperor finds himself the divine feminine, cosmic, earthly, all above all women, the one who can birth things into the world. Tell me about you guys. We're going to turn this around for you right now. Okay? First of all, I'm going to take your fears and I'm going to turn them over. I want you to do that also. Put them down. Put them down because this is what I'm hoping for you. Page of Pentacles is here. And this is a message of money, a connection, a job, a new home, a car, conversation, food, whatever it is, a job. Just something like that. Maybe a new relationship offer. I'm declaring that to replace those worry thoughts about future. And let's have two more. I'm declaring that you will come out of your meditation phase and your heartbreak. Come past the heartbreak quickly. Use your logic. Use your star. Use your love. Four swords is meditation. Now that's a good thing. Indeed it is. However, this is the kind of meditation where you're healing your heart. Four of swords. Okay? Three of swords is heartbreak. Four of swords is where you're healing it. So the, here's the thing. I declare that you heal that quickly, okay? I'm claiming that as a Reiki master. I hope you accept it as such. Thank you. It's called manifestation. And six of wands, the victory. In everything that you need. Victory is victorious. This is achievement. This is acknowledgement of that achievement, Aquarius. This is people rising up to rise up to you and saying, oh my God, I'm so happy you made that choice. You're doing so much better. Actually, you look fantastic. Huh. That's what I hear. Tell me about how to shift this outcome. Okay. Outcome card is coming up as three of cups in reverse. So they're saying that you should not go back. Don't look back, because he's kind of looking back, but he remembers all of his burdens. Correct? Can you see these? See, nine of, nine of wands and then the three of cups. Outcome. Change the outcome for me, please. So they're saying don't go back. And um, don't be a fool. The fool is in reverse. Be very cautious. Be very grounded. The six of pentacles is here. But it's in reverse. So if you're being told that if you go back to someone who's cheated on you, they're going to do it again. And you're going to be heavily burdened. I'm telling you what they're telling me. Tell me another outcome for them, please. And then let's look at love. The outcome that could come forward for you is success in hard work, King of Pentacles, working hard on your money, 
You could be attracting an earth sign that is grounded, healthy, spiritual, um, very faithful. King of Pentacles looks like it may be showing up for you. The magician is in reverse. You may not be able to manifest that yet, but you're working on it. The devil's in reverse. This is why you're working on it. This, uh, uh, the two of wands is in reverse, so you're not going to choose this anymore. This outcome doesn't apply to you anymore unless you go back. You will never be able to find your way back if you go back. King of Pentacles is coming forward. And um, some of you are still in your pain state. Ten of Swords. You're still in that Three of Swords space. Oh, my God. Some of you need a rating for love. Page of Swords and looking back. So some of you just can't seem to get it out of your head that you're a superstar no matter who you are, shining bright to see for the world to see. Right? I guess that's what it is for you to truly be. Shining star. You're the star. You need to understand that. That you have to come out of your heart space. Somehow I got a message that Aquarius has a hell of a time. They have beautiful hearts. But everything has to make sense. And sometimes it just friggin' doesn't. It just doesn't. So I'm going to take some love cards for you. And I'm going to see where you need to go. Why are some of you still hurting over a creep? If they cheated, it could have just been, you know, it's a spirit of greed and lust. It's spiritual battles we're in. And we take a lot of that personally. I keep hearing, I keep hearing Miguel Ruiz, um, don't take it personally. There is separation here for sure. And they're saying, because you need to pay attention to red flags, that's exactly what they're saying. This King of Pentacles is coming up as possibly the one that will bring you your victory. Give me another, please. But you need to be doing this and not this. Get past that, okay? Get busy calling in your soulmate. You have gone through a phase where you've changed everything. You brought an end to something, and you need to keep it that way because if you don't, you will stay this way. Constantly worried, constantly wanting to send a message, constantly watching everything, or they'll be doing that to you. Somebody has a broken heart here, though, and they can't seem to friggin' get a, out of their head. They feel so devastated and let down. The Ten of Swords is when you've been stabbed in the back like ten times, and it's just so bad. However, remember most of that is mental until it saturates in the heart. I also want to remind you that you got the, um, where was it? You got the Four of Swords in reverse. And what that means is, where did that go? What that means for you is that you can rest and heal that heart. But don't look back is what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Give me one more, please. Yeah. You'll have to deal with this unrequited love. You have to release it. We can do a releasing ceremony if you want. Let me have one more card to give them some advice, please. What do you show for Aquarius, please, Spirit? One more card for my Aquarians. I love you very much. I haven't said so yet. You know I do. I'm just here showing you. I'll be showing you. I'm telling you, I'm changing things around for you because I believe that we work together when two or more gathered on this earth, that's where his spirit will be, when we believe in the same thing. I believe you are the superstar of the stars, and somebody tried to put out your light, and you're like, oh, hell no. I don't think so. What else? And where does the power come from? It comes from within to pay attention to red flags and get over any kind of division in energies. It's cord-cutting ceremonies. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear, calling in your soulmate. I love you that you're reading my Aquarians. Um, I don't know. Let me see if someone... We've already got the king of, king of coins coming. They told me to take another look. And see if you have some hope for love coming forward. And who's going to support Aquarius the best right now? That's what I want to know. Who's, on, who's helping the Aquarians do this? 
One, two, three. I want to find out why that's in reverse. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. You have friends. It's the Seven of Cups. So you might have a water sign or an earth sign friend that's abundant. And this person has many ideas and options. Seven of Cups. Many ideas and options to offer. Uh, they'll be helping that way with some advice. And I think it's good. I think you should take it. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles for your um, who, who you're going to be supported by. Nine of Pentacles is amazing. She's like the grounded, grounded person. And uh, But there's somebody that make a promise, and they can't keep their promise because something happens, and they don't tell you about it. Blow it off. Let them go. Right? So your greatest fan is going to be a nurse sign. Okay? Lean on them. Bless you. Namaste, Aquarians. Bye.